Kyrie and Virgil McLennan are putting the finishing touches on their dream, their very own wine bar. But with only a few weeks to go before it opens and a very limited decorating budget, they really need to improvise. Specifically, they need something on these blank walls. Welcome to Get Framed. I'm Shanaz Lacaz and I've got the solution. The most expensive part of any framing project is the mat cutting. I'm going to show Tyree how to cut her own mat like a pro and some simple decorative touches like tambourine bells and complimentary paint to personalize her frame. Look how fun that is! Yeah. Tyree and Virgil have great artwork sitting in tubes, scared of the cost of custom framing. With a little bit of creativity and a few tricks of the trade, Tyree and I can create a showpiece that can save time and money. Let's see if she likes what I have in mind. Hey Tyree. How are you? Good, good. I love your piece. I love the colors, the movement, the emotion it gives off. It's one of my favorite pieces. It's called Sanctified Dance and once I saw it, I fell in love with it and I just knew that this was one of the pieces that I needed to put into our wine bar. My husband and I are right, opening a right. wine bar and unfortunately my husband and I, we kind of went over budget on the construction. So now we're in a predicament that we have all of this great art and we have no way of framing it. Okay, well I know about your budget problem. So I took that money and I spent most of it on the frame. Okay. And what we're really going to be saving on is everything that goes inside. Mm. So let me show you the frame. Okay. I'm You're going to love can't wait. this. Here it is. Wow. It's made in Italy and I picked it because of the movement in the picture. This frame itself has movement. These lines, the because they're curved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then as you can see, there's a little bit of red showing through, and it picks up the red in the picture there. It's beautiful. So let's take a look at the mats then. I've matched up some colors in the print. So what do you think? I you like know? them. I want okay. something that's gonna make the picture pop. Okay. Um, I love, this is kind of bland. It okay. It blends in a little okay, so too let's much. let's take this one away. Yeah. This is great. I okay, like this you like one. that one? Mm -hmm. All right, good. Mm -hmm. This kind of blends in too much with their legs, I think. I okay. think I might like the red. The red? Okay. Okay, so we got the red and the blue. Okay. Now, did you bring those pictures of the wine bar? I did. You know, because it's going to go up against this reddish wall, mm -hmm. I think we probably don't want to go with this because okay. the red might clash with this red. It might True. not be the same, so it might look a little weird. True. But this one is going to go great. And you know, this one also, as you can see, is, mm. yeah, it's like surrounding the whole Picture. image. So that's perfect. Great. Yeah. That I agree with that. Okay, great. And then for the frame, I don't know if you notice these little bells right here, mm -hmm. but this actually I got from a tambourine. I Close. saw the tambourine in the print and I thought this is so perfect. So I bought a tambourine. And right now they're kind of shiny, but we're going to fix them up so they look really, really nice. I'm so excited. Very I can't cool. wait to see what awesome. this is all going to look like. All right, let's get started. A mat is actually a frame within a frame. Not only does it preserve your artwork, but it also makes it pop. Or it highlights your artwork depending on the color you choose. Okay. You're also going to be saving a lot of money by doing it yourself. Now see. Now you're talking. <laughs> I would normally charge about $30 Ooh. for something this to size. To cut this. Yeah. You pay for every cut when you go into a frame shop. Okay. And this mat cutter, this is $20. Wow, okay. That's saving you a lot of money. My mat cutter is $2,000. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll take that one. So first we need to measure out our guidelines, and we always want to do that on the back of the mat. Okay. So here's a tape measure. And we'll do one side at a time. So you can measure out four and a half inches, since that's the width of the mat. Right, I remember that. Put one mark down there and then do one up on top. So that way we get a straight four and a half inch line. Okay. All right, so now go ahead and connect those dots and make a line all from the top way to across. Bottom. Okay. Voila. Okay, great. So now we're going to do that same thing on all four sides. Okay. Perfect. 
So what you wanna do is you always wanna start on the X and then you wanna end on the X, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and cut this one and then you can cut the next one. So once you line it up on the X, you push down. That way the blade enters the mat. Okay. And then you just push up. Just make sure that you're following your line all the way up and that you're stopping at the X. And you can go slow at this point, you know, just push it up little by little till you get to the X and then just lift up. Another thing is anytime you cut, you want the window to the right of your mat cutter. Okay. So I guess the, you know, mat cutter being always on the inside. Okay. Okay. And, and that way that? you get a bevel like this. Oh, I see, okay. So what happens if I do it on the other side? If you do it on the other side, the bevel's gonna go in this way, and then you don't see any white at all. You just see the mat and then the bevel going on oh, the yeah, inside, no, which don't you don't do want that. that. Yeah. So just go ahead and apply pressure right there. Okay. And then remember to stop at your X when you get there. I did it. All right, great, so you did one side. That's and awesome. And I didn't overcut. <laughs> okay, so let's do the other two. Do it again. Mm -hmm. If you want to master the fine art of mat cutting, go to our website at DIYNetwork.com. I'm a mat cutter. <laughs> you already see that we got undercut, which is good. Yay! I was so nervous. So we just slide the knife in the groove there and then just finish the cut. That's good. There you go. Oh, I did it. <laughs> so now next, I'm going to show you how to embellish the mat. It's going to give it that really custom look. All right. Next, we're going to amp up the look of this cool blue mat with paper and paint. And later, Tyree's husband checks in on his artistic bride's handiwork. Wow. <laughs> Welcome back to Get Framed. I'm Shanat. We just learned how to cut a mat like a pro. Now we're going to add a finish to it with paint and a scrap of paper that would otherwise quadruple the price tag. Tyree, this is the fun part. We're going to paint the mat. I love to paint. We're going to do a decorative border all around the mat. All right, so we'll start out by attaching the removable tape. And this stuff is great because you can put it on any surface and it just comes right off. Use the edge of the mat as your guide. And then just press down as you go. And then when we get to the end, leave about half an inch okay. to cut it right off. The the border is going to be 3 eighths of an inch. So we use a tape measure to measure the 3 eighths. I'll set that at 2 and then measure out 3 eighths, so 2 and 3 eighths, which is right there. You tack it down and then measure your 3 eighths again. So there you have a straight and even border. Okay, now you can do this side. ready to paint. All right, let's do it. The first color we're going to use is red. We're just going to paint straight red all the way around. It's acrylic paint, so it is a little thicker, and you don't want to water it down because, you know, we want to cover up the blue. I think I'm done. Yeah. Everything looks good to me. Okay. So our next step is our other color detail. And with that, we're gonna use these crumpled pieces of paper for our brushes. So just have a little bit of paint, you know, make sure you don't have too much on there. And just in a random manner, you know, apply your orange. That's perfect. Look Last how time. fun that is. Yeah. So the orange is done. Cool, look at that. Oof. So let's do our gold. Same thing. Okay, 
It looks all, all even done. to me, so we're done. This is a really, really cool part because look how messy it looks. But as soon as you start peeling that away, and you can start by using that little edge right there, and just start peeling away, and make sure you pull away from the border. There we and go. And I did that. Look at that. That's so nice. We're using gloves to keep the oils from our hands off of the artwork. We're also using a special gum eraser to remove any smudges. Pencil erasers can damage artwork. Okay, it looks all clean. So, we're ready to hinge. The next step is hinging, which means attaching the artwork to the mat. And we're gonna hinge by using Japanese hinging paper. Wow. And you can also buy this at the art store, and it already comes gummed, which means all you need to do is add water to the back. And to hinge this, we're gonna use a T-hinge. The T-hinge works like this. After we moisten this part, we're gonna put it on the back like this, and it, you know, it's gonna adhere to the back, and then we're gonna take another piece, moisten that, and do a little T, like that. Oh, I see. Yeah, so, so not on the artwork itself, but right, across but the right, other tape. Right, right. So that's all you need right there. Now we're gonna attach the mat. This is really, really easy. Okay, um, you can go ahead and grab that acid-free um, double stick tape okay. and just measure out a strip about that long. Now grab the mat. Gotcha. Okay, now I'm gonna place the mat on there but just so it doesn't stick, because we still have to position it, just right. don't press down on the top. Sounds good. Okay. Doesn't See, it's nice? starting to come together. So now we just have to press down. And. That looks so good. Yeah. All right, so our mat's hinged now too. Great. So we're ready to work on our frame. Coming up. We're adding some sophisticated and fun embellishments to Tyree's beautiful new frame. Yeah, I was good with the frame as it was, <laughs> and then you just took it a whole nother step. And you'll never believe how much money Tyree and Virgil saved by framing their own artwork. 